Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So today I'm gonna to be starting some seeds. It is the time to start tomato and pepper seeds where I live. Out here in Texas, our last frost date is on average March 16th. And so that means that's seven weeks away from right now, from today. And today is January 26th. I'm gonna fill up all these cups and then I'm gonna bring this inside and we'll plant inside. My kids are gonna help me. All right, so I've got a couple different types of pots here. This is gonna be for the tomatoes. These are the largest. Now I could have planted the peppers in these as well. These are, I think, three and a half inch, I wanna say, 3.3 .3 inch or something like that. However, peppers can also handle smaller and I really only wanted to keep it down to two trays. And then this is gonna end up being the basil and also gonna plant some chive as well. So I just made this yesterday. I make my own potting mix and it's got a little bit of compost in it, homemade compost and coconut core and just a bunch of real good stuff. All right, we're all filled up. Time to bring them inside and we'll start the seeds. So we are ready to plant. I already have all the holes made, which I just used the end of a pencil here and made some holes everywhere. And we're gonna start with the peppers and the basil, but I've got all of the markers ready. And so we'll just go ahead and start placing markers. And Abby's here helping me. She's gonna plant. I think I'll probably sell me. Yeah, they can see you. <laughs> all right, so next is jalapeno pepper, and I've only got one of these per row, so I know that this whole row is gonna be Anaheim, this whole row is gonna be jalapeno, and that way I'm not having to make a marker for every single plant. And I am gonna do four of each, however, I'm not gonna plant four of each, I'm only gonna plant um, three, maybe two of each. But I am seeding extra, so that way I know that I'm gonna get good starts. Uh, I'll pick the best ones to plant out in the garden. Next one is a hybrid called Gypsy Hybrid. And by the way, on the top of every single one of these, I put the spacing for each of these. And actually all the peppers are pretty much the same. They're 12 to 18 inch spacing. But that way I don't have to go back to the seed packet and look when I go and plant it out to the garden. I know exactly, okay, this is 12 to 18 inch. Um, so this is a Poblano pepper. Next one is a red cherry sweet pepper. Um, they're kind of small, little kind of like mini uh, bell peppers almost looking. And then this one's a purple bell pe pepper. I wanted to try this and I decided against doing the normal, regular bell peppers. Emily basil, which is basically just a sweet basil. I'm also gonna do sweet basil. So I've got two different kinds here. One is called Emily basil and the other one's called sweet basil. I think they're pretty much the same, but I'm gonna test them out to see which is different. And then I got common chives. Mm -hmm. We're gonna do two seeds per hole. Can you do that, Abby? Three. Two seeds per hole. Or three. Two. Two seeds per hole. Four. There we go, we got those planted. Let's go ahead with the next one. And that is the jalapeno. So let's go ahead with this that one. kind of sound like Halloween. Halloween. Does right? it? Yeah, Halloween. It's ha jalapeno. Jalapeno, Halloween, see? Hal All right, Hal Let, let's plant two per hole. There's know some that. seeds on this row right here. I know that because it's a... Any of this row. Mm. All right, next one is the Gypsy Hybrid. I've not planted this before. In fact, mm. all the rest of these peppers I have not planted. All right, so these hybrid peppers, they tend to be a lot less seed per pack. Oh yeah, I'm not sure. Whew. We might use them all. And that's it, guys. One, two, three, four, ten seeds. So we're going to plant... Two per, can I do this one, Abby? Because this one, I gotta make sure that we get only two per hole, because we don't have enough. All right, next is the red cherry sweet. That's also a hybrid, but you get quite a bit more. Now there's definitely enough here for another year um, if I plan on planting, so we'll keep those. Those will be able to plant next year. All right, next we've got the poblano pepper. <laughs> That's a funny name. You like that name? It's funny. And the final one is something called a purple beauty sweet pepper. So that sounds it's nice. Yeah, you like it? You See? like purple. It's one of your favorite colors, right? Yeah, pink and purple and red and blue. You've made your decision then? <laughs> Not remotely. Emily basil. So sometimes you have older seed packets that have been laying around for a year or two. Um, these are actually I think they were bought late 2020, so I have a feeling they're not going to necessarily all sprout. Um, sometimes you want to overseed. They're right there. Mm -hmm. Cover it up. 
And let's start on the tomatoes. I've got all the different varieties and just like before, I've got the spacing here. We've got Cherokee purple. We've got sun gold tomato. We got the big beef. We've got super sweet 100. And by the way, a couple of these I have not planted before. These are brand new. So I, I'm trying something new and I usually plant brandy wine. They're some of my favorite, but they, they didn't do well last, last time I planted. And so I'm going to hold off on that. Um, plus they take so long to mature and we get really brutal summers. And by the time the summer hits, they're pretty much done. Um, they don't want they're not producing. Um, so anyway, all these are a little quicker. This is Arkansas Traveler, and this is the uh, Burpee Big Boy. So we got Sun Gold and Super Sweet 100. Both of those are going to be a cherry, and then the rest of these are going to be like a big beefsteak. Um, really like these purple Cherokees. The purple Cherokee, I think, is the only one here that is a not a hybrid. All the rest of these are. What's interesting is you still don't get a ton of these seeds on the purple Cherokees, even though it's not a hybrid. All right, next is the Sun Gold. Now this is a hybrid that always comes with so little amount of seeds. I mean, there's like five, 10 seeds or whatever, um, unfortunately. And it's expensive too, but they're some of the best tasting. Put that in there. I'm gonna bring you guys back in a couple days once these sprout. It usually takes roughly around a week, five to, five to seven days for tomatoes to sprout. Yep, it took a while till the ones out there sprouted. All right, it is February 5th. It took about two weeks for these to pop up. Actually, these have been popped up for about a week already, but I finally have peppers popping up. So the variety actually, the only one that has popped up, actually I've got a little bit of this one too, but this is the Gypsy Hybrid. I've not grown this before, but it was really quick to pop up. This one is the Jalapeno, and this one's just now starting. Now peppers take quite a while. A lot of times two to three weeks, sometimes even up to four or five weeks before they actually start growing. Uh, tomatoes are a little bit quicker to to sprout. Plus all these have sprouted. So I've got the chives here and the two basils. They're both sprouted and most of them except for one. So I might not get a sprout out of that. Those were older seeds. Not all of them will, but that's okay. I'm still waiting for this one to sprout and that's it for the tomatoes. It might not come up. This is the Cherokee purple. That's okay. Two of them are plenty enough to be able to get enough tomatoes from those. Those are pretty prolific. So today is February 7th. We already have second true leaves here on some of these tomatoes, some of them not. The peppers are mostly sprouted now, most of them. Um, in fact, even here we've got a couple starts. So every single one has at least one popped up now of the peppers. Of course, I'll bring you guys back in about four to six weeks once I plant these out into the garden. I'm gonna wait until after March 16th since that's our last frost day, last average at least. Well, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out and I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.